One of the amazing features of the Bamboo Lab printer is the AMS system, the automatic material system. Not only does it let you print multicolor prints like this one, but also you can have one color with different spools and it automatically switches once one runs out. So that's amazing. And to my big surprise, it really works amazing. However, sometimes not so much. One of the first message that really threw me off on this AMS system was this one. Failed to pull back the filament. Hmm. So this is what I found out is the easiest way to fix it short term. Mostly it happens either when I did a multicolor print or after the print is finished and it wants to rewind the spool and that's when it kind of get like stuck at 99% even though the print is finished, but it just cannot rewind the spool. Not a big deal. I found out that this is the easiest way to just fix this. You push the little ring and release the PTFE tube, and then you wiggle back and forth. Most of the time, that was enough to just loosen it up. Of course, there is always the possibility that this would have been a clog, but most of the time, I was able to just fix it by wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The next AMS small function we're going to look at is when one of the lights of the spools is red. Just one. Not all of them, but one. And it's red and sometimes it sounds like this. Now it doesn't have to sound like this. It can just be silent and still the red light is there and you're not able to feed any new filament in there. In this case, most probably, it is because the filament is broken inside of the AMS. And this is how you fix this. First, you need to release the PTFE tube on the AMS. The way to do this is there is a little plateau, especially for your fingers. You take your middle finger and your pointer finger and you're pressing it down and this releases the PTFE tube very easily. Now we have to open the AMS. There are two screws, one here and one here. Unscrew both of the screws and then very carefully by pushing the front side and pulling the back side up, release the inside of the AMS. Do not just pull it up because there is two cables and these two cables you don't want to break. Usually you don't have to unplug those cables. You can easily access the PTFE tubing without disconnecting the cables. Just push the ring in and pull the PTFE tubing out and take the filament that is broken out of the PTFE tubing. The last situation we want to look at is when all the red lights are blinking. Not just one, but of all the spools. And they're blinking and blinking and blinking. And that means that the AMS is not recognized by the printer. The connection between the printer and the AMS is not working. Most probably it's one of the cables and you might be able to fix it by wiggling all the cables. The one from the machine as well as the one from the AMS. Most probably while you do that it switches from red to white and the connection is back. If that doesn't work maybe it works when you turn off the printer and turn it back on. And if after that the AMS still doesn't get recognized Go ahead and open a ticket with Bamboo Lab. Now it's your turn. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.